Welcome in part 2 how I created the stargate. In this video I will create two patterns. So without further ado, let's jump to Blender. First pattern I use cylinder to create uh, to create it. As you can see, I remove the caps, top and bottom, and then I little bit scale and extrude extrude next uh, segments of this shape. Of course, it took me a little bit more time than I expected. I am not the fast, uh, fastest modeler on the world. This video is a little bit speed up, so you didn't have to waste too much time and feel bored. Now I will do the center. As I said before, it took me a little bit more time. And this is how it looks the first pattern. Nothing complicated. Second pattern, I use bezier curves to get the right shape. And one more time, I want to remind you, this video is uh, speed up. So in real life, it took me way more time, way more time than that I ever expect. For my defense, in some places, uh, it took me some time to figure out how to connect or find the right approach to create the desired shape. Here I change the bezier curves to mesh and then I delete the top part and next I deleted the edges we didn't need and after that I tried to figure out how to connect the vertices so to create one shape.
So after I had initial shape, I start filling the gaps, uh, fill the polygons, yeah, connect the, all the edges and, and fill the empty spaces. In the end, I add the mirror modifier to mirror the whole shape and add extra geometry on edges and this is how I created this shape, this pattern. When the second pattern was uh, finished, I add the array modifier to check how will repeat uh, the pattern will be repeating and if 
the edges will connect correctly. In part 3, I will continue with patterns. If you like this video, please subscribe, uh, press the like button, don't forget press the ring bell, notification ring bell, and share this video with your friends. And thank you very much for watching.